Hi, it's Jeff with Cribble. In this video, we're going to walk through configuring a Microsoft Sentinel destination in Cribble Stream, Cribble's data processing engine. We'll focus on the setup of this in a Cribble Cloud account, Cribble's as a service offering, and the best way to take advantage of the suite of products. You can sign up today for a free one terabyte account with no credit card required. Just visit us at cribble.cloud. Note that most of these steps will also apply to an on-premise or customer managed installation as well. In this video, we'll be performing these steps. First, we'll configure our Azure workspace to get the necessary components in place, such as our data collection endpoint, data collection rule, and authorizations. Next, we'll take the results of this work and configure the Cribble Stream Sentinel destination. And last, we'll set up a route and do a quick test to make sure data arrives to Sentinel as expected. A note before we start. If you want more information, make sure to check out our docs. To set up this destination, there is a good bit of pre-work we must do on the Microsoft side. The documentation walks us through this step by step, so make sure to check it out. We'll be following it to do this test, starting with the one called Preparing the Azure Workspace. You'll also want to have a place to copy and paste values, like a notepad document, as we go along. The first step is to create an app registration. I'm logged into my Azure account and have navigated to the App Registrations page. I'll click on New Registration and get this window. I'll type in a friendly name and we'll click Register on the bottom. When the window returns, note the application client ID for later use. Our next step here is to create a client secret. On the submenu navigation, click the Add a Certificate or Secret link. In the middle, click New Client Secret. Enter a description and select an expiration date that conforms to your security policy. I'll just pick six months for this test. Click Add on the bottom. Once done, make sure to copy the value somewhere as it won't be shown again later. We also need to note the authorization endpoint. Return to the registration window by clicking Overview, then click on Endpoints on the top navbar and copy the OAuth 2.0 token endpoint. We'll use the secret, value, and endpoint when we set up the authorization for the Sentinel destination and stream. With this complete, our next step is to create a data collection endpoint. The name tells us what it is, a place we'll send our data to. In this part, we're in the Azure Monitor section of the portal. On the left hand nav, click on Settings, then Data Collection Endpoints. Click Create on the top. Give the endpoint a friendly name, select your appropriate subscription, resource group, and region, and then click Review and Create on the bottom. Once validation passes, click Create on the bottom of the next window. When the list pops back up, you may need to refresh the page. Look for the endpoint you just created and click on it. Click JSON View on the right and copy the resource ID in the gray box on the top of that pane. We need to gather another ID for the Log Analytics workspace. I'm in the Log Analytics section of Azure here and have clicked on the workspace I'll be using for Sentinel. As in the previous step, click on the JSON view link and grab the resource ID in the top gray box. With that complete, we need to set up a DCR or data collection rule to get our data to the right workspace and tables. In this part, we're in Azure's Deploy a Custom Template service. We'll select Build Your Own Template and overwrite the existing text by pasting in the example template provided via a link in the Cribble docs. We'll click Save on the bottom, then on the next screen, select the correct subscription and resource group for your environment. In the Instance Details section, pick the right region and input a DCR name. For Workspace Resource ID, input the Log Analytics value that we captured earlier. And for the Endpoint Resource ID, enter the ID that was captured. Click Review and Create at the bottom. If validation passes, we can click Create on the bottom. When completed, click the Go to Resource button. Next, click Access Control IAM on the left-hand side. Click Add, and then Add Role Assignment. Select the Monitoring Metrics Publisher role, and then click Next. Click the Plus Select Members link and then look for the app name we created in the first step. Click it, then click Select at the bottom. Click Review and Assign to review changes and then click Review and Assign again to implement the permissions update. We now have one less step on the Azure side. We need to get our endpoint URL. I've copied the query from the Cribble docs on the Sentinel use case page. In Azure, we'll navigate to the Azure Resource Graph Explorer module shown here. We'll paste in the query and get any endpoints that were successfully set up. If you don't get results here, you'll need to check the previous work that was done. Here, I filtered the query to just show my endpoints. Note that there are four of them. This is because the data collection rule template we use provides the initial setup for all of these table definitions. It's important to know which table you'll be sending your logs to. 
In this case, we're going to be sending Cisco ASA firewall logs to the common security log, so we'll copy the endpoint URL for that one for this test. Note that there is a way to use a double underscore URL internal field to dynamically set which table data should go to. Consult the Cripple Sentinel destination docs for more information on this. This concludes the Azure setup steps we need to do. Now, we can set up the destination in Cripple Stream. I'm logged into my Cribble Cloud account and I've selected my worker group called Default that I want to set everything up in. To set up the destination, click Data, then Destinations. You'll see the various tiles for all the supported destinations. We can look for it in the list, but I'll just type in Sentinel in the search bar to make it easier, and then click on the Microsoft Sentinel tile. We can add a new output by clicking Add Destination on the upper right, and we see the config modal for our connection. For the output ID, we can enter a friendly name. I'll include which table I'm sending to by using CSL for common security log. I'll paste in the URL copied from the Graph Explorer query in the URL field. On the left-hand side, click Authentication. For the login URL, we'll input the OAuth URL we obtained when doing our app registration, along with the secret and client ID from that same module. The client ID is a constant, so we'll put backticks around it. There are other settings that we can tweak on the left in case of issues, but for now, we'll click Save on the bottom right, and then to make the changes live, we'll do a Commit and Deploy. With our destination set up, we can create a route that will send data to our Sentinel instance. I already have some Cisco ASA logs set up as a data generator, a source and stream that lets us simulate data coming in. Navigate to the Quick Connect page by going to Routing Quick Connect. From here, we'll drag the plus sign next to our data gen source and connect it to our Sentinel destination. We now get to choose what pipeline will operate on this data. I'm going to choose the Pack option. Packs are Cripple's pre-built content that gives us partial or complete pipelines ready to use straight away. I'll click the Pack button, then choose the Microsoft Sentinel pack I added to my work group. Then I'll click Save. Once again, I'll do a commit and deploy to make the changes go into effect. After a few minutes, data should be on its way to Azure. I've opened it up and did a quick query to check if the data is landing. And sure enough, we can see the ASA logs as we expect. And that's it for this exercise. In just a few minutes, we set up our Sentinel destination, created a route to get our source data there, and validated that data is being received. Future us might have a bit more work to do. Our next steps might be to adjust the pipeline to do any event shaping, such as enrichment or field optimization, or correct any issues in the data structure. And we might need to do some tuning with the destination settings if we encounter any issues. But for now, we'll pat ourselves on the back for a job well done. If you want to know more, check out our documentation at docs.cribble.io. You might want to try out our free sandboxes at sandbox.cribble.io. And join us at community.cribble.io to be part of the goat herd. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.